Hey, it's Bryce with UT Kilts, and today we're here at Disneyland, and I want to take a second to kind of give you an idea of how I survived Disneyland. Uh, just a few tips, especially when you have kids, of course. Uh, so let me take a look and show you what's, uh, what's going on. First thing, good shoes, comfortable. Second thing you need is a nice kilt. Sorry for the bad, I'm not good with selfies. Uh, so I chose the standard um, Utoli Tartan Kilt. Uh, super comfortable, lightweight. I think it's perfect for a uh, day at Disneyland. The last thing you need is an awesome shirt. Now there are lots of awesome shirts, but maybe not as awesome as this one. And then you're ready for Disneyland. An essential part of going to Disneyland is also having a plan. And I know a lot of people really don't want to do this. But it's the only way that you're going to avoid lines. The kilt's going to make you super comfortable, but the long lines will drive you bananas. So you've got to have a plan. I like to use a place called Turing Plans. They allow you to check the crowd calendar and also set up an individual plan that will tell you which ride to go on at what time. Though I have had better uh, luck with them in the past. This particular time we went, I don't believe they adjusted for the Halloween levels that come with um, Mickey's Halloween party. But nonetheless, with this plan, as you can see, it's laid out from minute to minute what you're going to do. And I promise you it'll help you avoid lines. When we went, the longest line we waited in was for Guardians of the Galaxy, which is the new one. We waited in it for about 20 minutes. Everything else was five minutes or less for the most part, with a few others maybe being 10. This will really help, and you've got to have it. Kilt will make you amazingly comfortable, but if you're waiting in lines all day, you're going to be miserable. Okay, so we're at the end of the day, and I don't know how, but it was rainy this morning. You can kind of see in the background, um, it's sunny now, and just kind of looking around, we made it to downtown Disney. Somehow, I don't know how it works, honestly. Those of you that have worn a kilt before know, when it was cold, somewhat colder than the cold air. Uh, I stayed warm and now that it's kind of hotter, I'm staying pretty cool. Um, thank you, Kilt. So uh, that was our first day at Disney. Okay, so I just got off the water ride, the log ride. I can't remember the name of the log ride right now at this moment. Splash Mountain, there it is. Um, I was in the front row, completely soaked. My shirt's still soaked, but the kilt, surprising, it dried really fast, even in uh, this overcast weather. Um, awesome. We spent three days in Disneyland, dead tired. A couple of things I learned, if you have kids, gotta have a plan. And if you wanna stay comfortable, you gotta wear a good kilt. Otherwise, it's just not gonna work out for you very well. And try and avoid the lines like those. <laughs>